the students at the Denver School of the Arts are taking the stage to bring awareness to the ongoing fight against AIDS. CBS 4's Dominic Garcia learned they are very passionate about this cause. This play is called The Normal Heart. It is about the AIDS epidemic of the 80s. And for a lot of these students, they had no idea what that was, but they have gotten quite an education through theater. Ricky, I know something's wrong. Right. All you've come in for is some test results. It may be a high school play, but... It gives insight to something that was considered, like, taboo. Marie Antoinette Banks plays Dr. Emma Bruckner, someone who dealt with patients with HIV and fought for research into the then-unknown virus. So nobody wanted to talk about it, and when this was happening, nothing was being done about it, and this play addresses that. For her, this is so much more than a play. My cousin was born with HIV, and the doctors told her that she wouldn't live to be past two. It's kind of like a medical miracle, and she takes her medicine, and she's healthy, and she's doing great. I remember. And this play has been eye-opening. Every single time I've read it or went through it or just seen it, I my mind has just been blown and I've just thought about what it's probably been like for her. In addition to the play, the school is displaying four panels of the AIDS quilt that was displayed in Washington, D.C. in the 80s. Each one tells the story of someone who lost their lives. It's really emotional to look at, to read all the names and to know that these were real people who lived and who died from this terrible disease that nobody wanted to talk about. But you've been living with this these students are sharing a powerful story and one that is still not over. That there are still millions of people around the world that can't afford the medicine and are dying because of it. So these quilts are going to be on display for a few more days and there are still several more showings of this play on Friday and Saturday. We have more information at our website at cbsdenver.com. In Denver, Dominic Garcia covering Colorado First.